ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾನಂದ ಪರಮಸುಖದ ಕೇವಲ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೂರ್ತಿ ದ್ವಂದ್ವಾತೀತ ಗಗನ ಸದೃಶ ತತ್ವಸ್ಯಾಕ್ಷ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಂ ವಿಮಲಮಚಲ ಸರ್ವಧೀಸಾಕ್ಷಿಭೂತ ಭಾವಾತೀತ ತ್ರಿಗುಣರಹಿತ ಸದ್ಗುರು ತಂ ನಮಿ ಓಂ ಎಡೋಡೇಶನ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನ್ ದಿ ಗಿವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ ಎಂಬಾಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಯೋರ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಈಥರ್ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ಇಟರ್ನಲ್ ಬಿಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುಣಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಪ್ರಿಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗ ವಾಚಿಕ್ಷ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಿರ್ವಾಣ ಪ್ರಕರಣ ಪೂರ್ವಾರ್ಧ and section number is 1 number 1 so i have not missed much <laughs> the highly allegorical description is being given of the manner in which sage vashistha had his satsanga hall and what type of how he began his program every day the entire setting of sage vashistha and his teaching being given to rama and the description is all gods and goddesses they had come in human forms they were all sitting in different areas there was no distance in those times <laughs> and all great all sages not a single one missing this saints and then all those who were spiritual seekers as well as those who are who were in the very early stage as well as those who were completely dull with it somehow they were all drawn and surprisingly enough even the birds looking through the window <laughs> seeing the whole atmosphere and sometimes grabbing some of the sounds and teachings they went to trance this description is allegorical description which is not really allegorical from a profound point of view and that is profound point of view first point to understand that satsanga is very important for spiritual progress satsanga is literally good association philosophically it's god word movement associating with sat this whole world is sat mixed up with asat associating with sat moving away from asat and the purpose of satsanga is to inspire an aspirant firstly to understand the path of sadhana the role of integral yoga in daily life and how to practice it and how to face challenges in life how to be positive there are all all that i'm not going to details but you can easily understand so all types of people in different stages 
are benefited by satsanga. The traditional satsanga does not keep someone at the gate and only allow people who smell good. <laughs> joking. <laughs> all are allowed. And all get benefited. What's being pointed out that satsanga is tuning your mind to all the teachings that have been given by sages and saints and all the goodwill that has been generated by countless great personalities. Satsanga is putting you in tune with all that that's good behind the world. As if through satsanga you are communicating with Sage Vyasa, Sage Vashishtha, Vishwamitra, communing with Rama himself who is all permeating. So, that's being the highlighted purpose. Yoga Vashita goes into details of describing and let's study that. The evening breeze blew, laden with the fragrance of sages' wisdom. Even the lakes with their gentle waves sparkled amid their embroidered beds as if thrilled in ecstasy. The idea of the entire nature gets thrilled. Simple point to understand that it's worth you are charged with satsanga vibrations. You will look at the nature through a different angle. Nature is thrilled by the glory of God. And it has been thrilled even before you were thrilled. <laughs> but now you realize, due to satsanga, that nature is thrilled, allegorically, you give the nature also listen to the satsang. Another point to understand, if your mind is very positive and joyous, your gardens get thrilled. You have to go into, that also is a matter of profound science. To sing a good song, certain creepers enjoy it. Birds get inspired. But I will not go into those details. The idea to understand the importance of satsanga. And the basic form of satsanga is what you are right now experiencing it. And while you are experiencing it, your mind is tuning to a vast dimension of great personalities whose wisdom has, is being, pour, being poured through these inspiring words of scriptures. The last rays of the departing sun entered the windows of the palace, whispering the message of the ending day. It was time to conclude the daily discourse. The attendants sounded their trumpets and blew their conch shells, and the mingled sound resounded on all sides. Soon the stillness was broken in the assembly hall and a wave of agitation spread across the royal city. The caged birds began to flutter their wings, and peacocks began to give forth their sonorous sounds. Even the infants in their mother's arms 
began to tremble at the uproar of the evening sounds. Preparing to conclude his talk for the day, Sage Vashita said to Rama, O Rama, allow the bird of your chitta to be trapped in the net of wisdom that I have spread before you. That's the satsanga's plan. It is it's a kind of a fishing plan. It's creating a net of wisdom through so many teachings, so many inspiring insights. They are presented through the stories of Rama, Mahabharata, Bhagavat Puran, through the teachings of Upanishads and of course the concentrated teaching presented by Yoga Bhakti. All these teachings, they are like a net to catch whom? Your whole chitta. And once chitta has been trapped by satsanga, soul enjoys oneness with the divine self. So Rama, you have listened to my teachings and have attained the discriminative vision that is like, is like a swan which separates the milk of reality from the blend of illusions. It's always he quotes the swan with having a special ability, rather having instinctive quality of taking pure milk. Even if the milk is presented to the swan in an adulterated form, mixed up with water or anything else. But swan will pick out pure milk nut nutrition and allegorically what it actually means, your chitta, your mind gains that type of clarity of vision that wisdom operates through your mind and you begin to separate the world you are experiencing through your conditioned mind and senses and the reality that supports all your experiences. Put it in a still more clearer way, you watch a cinema show, all the time what you have been looking at, screen. But what you have become involved in? Projections. The projections are adulterated form. Screen is the pure milk. Sit there as a hansa, not as a vulture, <laughs> looking for the, what type of <laughs> story is coming up <laughs> and go on crunching your popcorn. <laughs> so there are two ways. If you are doing that, you are in the world of illusion, deluded. You are take, making yourself shake and bake on the basis of all that you are seeing. But what you are actually seeing is pure screen. What you are actually ever present reality within you, which is actually there, this pure consciousness. But that consciousness has become mixed up with your mental projections. Pure awareness. That is a profound topic and that will, that being will be presented more and more. It's called Pragyanam Brahma. Same consciousness is presented as Satchit Ananda. Absolute existence, absolute consciousness, absolute bliss. That is the absolute reality. But that reality is veiled by your mental projections. And your soul 
developing a fictitious identity, is involved in pleasure arising out of the cinema show, of the world process. But pleasure goes along with pain. And when we say swan, the Sanskrit word is hamsa. Aham, I, sa, that, I am that. And when you turn around, that am I. So hum. Ham sa, so hum. It's a profound mantra. And it is called also called ajapa ajap. If you are highly spiritually sensitive, then the wisdom that you you receive, the wisdom that enriches your mind, enables you to be in tune with the knowledge, I am not the body, I am not, this world is not real, I am that. And that am I. Hamsa Soham. And that's the purpose of Satsanga. O Rama, take recourse to the practice of Vasana Akshaya, Mano Nash, and Tattva And that also includes Prana Nirodh. Prana Nirodh relates to controlling the pranas. Pranas are profoundly related to your mental process. All mental functions require energy. That energy is prana. And that prana expresses in a very simple way through your breath. If you harmonize your breath, breath itself is not prana is an effect of the activity of prana. If you harmonize your breath, breath becomes a channel to allow your prana to be harmonized. As prana gets harmonized and begins to flow through the proper, through the subtle channels, channels are mystic channels which are adopted by prakriti, nature. That's those, through those channels. Nature continues to flow. All your experiences are the magic of the flow of prakriti. When pranas are not harmonized, the flow of prakriti is disturbed. So first it creates a mental imbalance. Instead of being happy, you feel miserable simply because you have misunderstood someone made a statement of many negative things, ended up saying something that was totally neg different from all he said. Sometimes people come and bring good news but first they communicate all the negative. So the good news can be more tasty. I'm giving a humorous. Now someone did that. But the last stage, he said something and he didn't come out of his mouth. In other words, somehow the person didn't listen, didn't hear. So, now that person is receiving all negative sorrow and misery in his mind. Much later, six months later, it is clarified that it was only a good news. You missed celebrating the good news. Continuing now. 
three points have been mentioned. <laughs> Manonash, Vasanakshaya, Tattvagyan. And a supplementary that paves the way to these three is Prana Nirod, control of pranas. I was explaining to you the role of pranayam and kundalini yoga that deals with all the chakras, centers, and I'm not going into that detail at this stage. All that has been told and we will be telling you more and more. Adopting this path of wisdom, you will not be deluded anywhere in this world. But if you ignore this path, you are bound to be caught in the world process. Even like an elephant trapped in the pits of the valleys of the Vindhya mountains. All these are allegorical and artistic writing, poetic writing. Even if you feel you are very, very strong like an elephant, it doesn't matter. You will be trapped. When we talk of Mano Nash Vasana Akshaya, Tattva Gyan, always remember that mirror example I give. And the whole project is seeing yourself, your real identity. But what is the medium for your for the revelation of your identity, your own mind? But the mind is altogether all the four aspected mind is called chitta. So chitta is like a mirror. And you are seeing your face in a mirror that's full of dust. So what happens? Your face becomes so distorted, goes one way, that way, that way. And technical shows also reveal to you that fact. You are watching this show in your TV. Suddenly you see the face of a person. You are interested in hearing the speech of a great politician. Suddenly his nose goes that way. Right? Mala causes that. Mala is to be worked upon by karma yoga. The spiritual movement is not just one di one aspected. That just learn some mantra and just go on doing it. Sadhana. It covers your entire life. And your life has four strings. Karma, Sentiments, feelings, will, and your understanding, your wisdom, reason. So we always talk about those four points, action, emotion, will, and reason. Matching up to these four, there are four yogas, karma yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Jnana Yoga. All these four, they are linked together. They can, cannot separate. You may give highlight the importance of Karma Yoga at one time, Bhakti another time, so forth. But they are, all the four are always blended. You cannot separate them. And that understanding is called integral yoga. Just as a person who wanders in darkness without a lamp falls into dark pits in the same manner, if you do not carry the lamp of wisdom with you, you are bound to fall into the, into the pits of innumerable embodiments. 
falling into pit relates here to the falling into the cycle of births and deaths. Thus, O gentle Rama, acquire internal detachment arising out of wisdom and perform your daily duties with a mind illumined by the knowledge of the self. Two points are being highlighted. Detachment, asanga. And asanga, detachment, if you are simply practicing detachment, it, it, it will become a source of misery. Because you, are deta you may be detaching yourself from every good opportunity. So simple, dull bit detachment is not real detachment. Real detachment is led by wisdom. And put it in a more simple way, vivek. The more vivek develops in your mind, greater you are detached. Again, detachment you have to understand doesn't mean a physical separation. It simply means even though you are playing with the child, holding the child in your arms, you are detached. The child is not the body, soul within it. So your internal heart is repeating the mantra. Keshava, Keshava, Krishna, Krishna. <laughs> Even in the beauty of the child, you are, your internal heart is resonating with mantras. You are detached. As you are detached, you are getting attached to the higher reality within yourself. And again reminding you of the statement made by Shankaracharya, Sri Shankaracharya. Satsangatve nihasangatvam. The more satsanga, greater is your detachment from the worldly apparent enjoyment. So that this type of enjoyment in the world, which I abhog, is constantly fleeting. It is illusory. But even in this realm of enjoyment, if you have viveka, you separate yourself with that enjoyment that degrades you and the enjoyment that elevates you. Shreya and Preya. Prayer degrades you, but you like it, led by fondness. But fondness without vivek. O monarchs, sages, saints, Navashishta is telling that the satsanga is over for the day. O monarchs, by these statements, you are being told who were all present in that. Monarchs, sages, saints, and all of you now present in this assembly hall, may you all engage yourselves in the performance of your evening duties. In other words, go home, prepare to have your food, go to sleep, rest, I am jokingly presenting. We will continue these teachings in the morning. And next day, same routine. And that type of life is called aha. At the bidding of Sage Vashishtha, all got up from their seats, appearing like full blossom blooming lotuses which raise their heads above the lake. When Satsanga has inspired you, you go with face blooming like a lotus. After adoring Sage Vashishtha, 
praising King Dasharatha and showering their words of admiration on Rama. All the assembled kings, princes, ministers and royal attendants departed for their homes. Then Sage Vishwamitra, accompanied by Sage Vashistha, proceeded towards his residence. As an expression of reverence, King Dasharatha and his sons followed the sages and having adored them, returned to the royal palace. All the description has a purpose. Purpose is when you have listened to satsanga, don't become too inspired to forget your ordinary courteous mannerism. Elderly people have to be de dealt with in elderly with reverence. And so forth. Mariada. But if philosophical teaching makes you break all these mannerism in a gracious way, then if you have not really understood satsang. Otherwise you hear the, the whole world is mitya, Brahman alone is real, this is all cinema show. The young man, I mean, does, comes to his fathers, doesn't even adore them, doesn't even. They are all Shilva show. <laughs> so that's the thing. So all this teaching it has been ineffective, it has not been brought to your mind in a right way. The moment you begin to gain real progress towards the understanding, towards the realization, all is illusion. Every step you take puts you in an advanced, from another angle, puts you in much better and better states of personality, more integrated, more harmonious, humbler, and so forth. So both points have to be un understood. Ultimate point, all is illusion. The beginning stage, allow yourself to flow through integral yoga movement. Don't ignore any step. But what you do ignore is leave keeping your mind in, under the sustained despair, negativity. Next section, the dissolution of the chitta. Then the night with the darkness at, as her feet and the moon as her face began to wane with the advent of dawn. Much in the same manner as ignorance begins to vanish with the advent of discriminative knowledge. The summits of the eastern mountains were soon adorned with a crown of golden rays from the sun. Now satsanga based mind looks at the world also as a source of satsanga. And what can be most inspiring than the glimpse or than the vision of the rising sun? What miracles happen as the sun begins to rise? And just like the rising sun decks the whole world with such amazing shimmer and shine, in the same way, Godward movement 
allows all your vision of life shine and shimmer in the most advanced way possible. What I am leading to understand the importance of early rising, practicing sadhana in Brahma Muhurta and being beginning the day with adoring the sun. But what I am implying is more on a sensitive level. Having performed their evening prayers, Sri Rama and his brothers proceeded to the residence of Sage Vashishtha. Soon many chariots, horses, elephants thronged before the residence of the sage and so forth. All this description I have explained that how all courteous mannerism continues to be maintained in a proper way. Even though Sage Vashishtha taught everything is illusion. Then as the rays of the sun, as if also desirous of listening to the sages' teachings, began to enter through the window into the assembly hall. The soft sounds of mutual greetings began to fade away and the audience became, became still this evening appearing like blooming lotuses in a serene lake. Oh, this is the morning's description of the morning. The rays of the sun are entering into the hall and people who came in the morning, they first greeted each other and there was good sound going on but the sound began to fade away. They became all still. So that's how every big day began. Sage Vashishta began, O Rama, do you remember the teachings that I imparted to you yesterday? Now listen to some more points that will lead you to spiritual insight and realization. O Rama, this ocean of the world process is crossed by the practice of vairagya and the knowledge of the self. Therefore, may you become devoted to these pursuits. By the knowledge of the self, ignorance is destroyed. When ignorance is destroyed, the vasanas become extinct then the state of liberation is re realized, wherein grief is supremely overcome. So let me explain the detail. We had started telling with the mirror, with a dust that refracts your face. The second, that's called mala. And mala is targeted by karma, actions that you do, the way you handle your responsibilities to yourself, to people around you, to, the, to all your practical needs, how you deal, live in this world, with what attitude, and how you can turn this whole situation into something enriching to your personality. And that mantra for that is called Kushal, Kaushalya, skill, Yoga Karmasu Kaushalam. Same thing you are doing. If you do it with greater concentration, with greater positivity in your mind, with greater attunement with your inner source, with God, same karma that you are doing will, will have a tremendous 
enriching effect on your personality. Now coming to the second aspect, as you begin to see mala move away, you become aware of immense capacity you hold within yourself. You begin to discover ama the amazing potentiality of your personality. And that creates distraction in the mind. Put it in a very gross way, if you are very taste-loving personality <laughs> and you are suffering from some digestive problem, suffered a lot, and now the problem is over, there's a mala, gone. Now your mind is opened up to all the tasty things you can have. And you find your life is so short. <laughs> tasty things are so many. Oh God. <laughs> Give me long life. <laughs> so you can visit all the hotels. <laughs> Elaborating what the big shape are be. Your mind is going after so many things, you don't know which one to follow. Allegorically put it, as if it's mala, your impurity was dust on the mirror and you first cleaned it. The cleaning of the dust is karma yoga. Next, as you begin to clean, you find yourself shining through the mirror. But you are not accustomed to seeing your real face. So what happens? Your hand begins to shake. Through so shaking hand, your mirror is not giving you real picture of yourself. You have become hundredfold. That has to be corrected by dhyana and bhakti. Devotion to God blended with meditation that Raja Yoga teaches how to practice meditation. Bhakti Yoga teaches how to practice devotion. Both blended is Bhakti Yoga. It's also termed as Upasana. And when that is comes to control, Mala you have controlled, Vikshepa you have controlled by Bhakti and Dhyana, now Suddenly, the revelation has a little shock. Your head that used to be up suddenly goes down. And all the hair falls over your eyes. But it is not a matter of despair. It is your old hair. <laughs> so all that you do is shake your head. Now the whole project is over. Now you can see yourself through the mirror. And what you see doesn't require any more confirmation. So say goodbye to the mirror. <laughs> goodbye to the chitta forever. But if you go on seeing it, there's no harm either. As long as you are Jeevan Mukta, you go on holding your chitta. But you have, what you have seen through your chitta, you don't need the chitta anymore. Then you are Bideh Mukta. Body is not needed. Unlimited by time, space and objectivity, the absolute alone exists. This world process is nothing but the illusory modification of Brahman. This is the advanced Vedanta, that's what I've been always trying. This is the truth. But doesn't mean that you are out of all those three stages. How can duality abide in Brahman who is beyond the mind and senses? There is no chitta. There is no ignorance. There is neither mind nor jiva, the individual soul. 
all these are mere imagination. This, this we conclude for today. Om Ram 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 Om Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Prayer for the shower of divine grace of Karuna Mahiras over all and Allow every soul to develop understanding, sanamati, sanamati to, to, to live for attaining enlightenment. And may all of you be blessed with shakti, spiritual strength, bhakti, devotion to God and mukti, liberation. Revelation that puts the death virus to complete termination, gaining of immortality. Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukum Vabandhanan Mrityor Mukshyamam Ritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvarukum Vabandhanan Mrityor Mukshyama Amritat Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Ma Kashtidduka Bhag Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Are you on that?